Trapper down here. We've been talking about our coyote bait. Meat's got a good taint to it. Good smell. Nice thick texture to it. Got some chunks in it. You can still see the meat fiber. It's not completely broke down, which is the way I like it. Today we're gonna uh, make a few different batches. We're gonna make one batch using skunk essence as the main piece. We used to store mine in these coffee cans with dry dirt. The lid had cracked, unbeknownst to me, and water got in there. But being keeping them upright, skunk essence on the inside is still good. So we're going to go ahead and use that today. I think there's a second bottle down in there. Can't really remember. Also, we're going to add smoke oil to it, to another batch mixed with persimmon oil. Give it kind of a persimmony smoke smell. And also today we're going to use some glycerin to kind of soup up a little bit if it seems kind of dry. So I really don't like dry meat and it'll keep it from drying out at the set a little bit. You'll notice I have a bunch of various sized jars. This is what I'll be storing them in. And I use a lot of jars that I've used previously on the line that I've bought, such as this Hiawatha Valley. Didn't really care for the product too much. Works great for some, just didn't work great for me. But the jar will continue to be able to be used for me. And we'll use this empty bucket here to do our mixing in. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, first, this is tinctured skunk that I tinctured myself. It's about 25% skunk essence, 75% Everclear, and it has now sat for, oh gosh, since I think the springtime of this year. So we're gonna add it to the meat here. Now a good rule is that you don't wanna add more because you can't take any out. But I like mine really skunky, because you gotta think, when you're at a set, skunk sprays, you're typically going to hit yo know, cat the next day or within a couple days. Animals really like smelling the skunk smell. So we're going to go ahead and add that to our mix there. So we get all that mixed in. Now, you're going to notice that's changed the smell of everything. It's not so, it doesn't have that real taint smell. No hide in front of me. We're going to get that all mixed in now. So that's about where I want it. It's got a nice Taint rot smell mixed with skunk essence. It's delicious. So we've got a couple jars now with just the meat and just the skunk essence. And that's how I want to use those there. Now I'm going to make another blend using the same meat that has the skunk essence in it. I'm going to add persimmon oil to the mix. I'll just pour that on there. Whoops! Shenanigans always happen. And get that mixed in real good there. And that's gonna add to a food source that's in my area because persimmons are a common natural food along with pecans and things, but I'm gonna mix in the persimmon. And that just made it a little bit sweeter. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of a smoky s smell to it. I'm just gonna pour about an ounce, maybe a little less than an ounce. Put that in there. I'm going to mix that in there. And I just totally change the smell. That smells good. 
So we're going to go ahead and get these jarred up in the smaller jars and we'll see you here in a second. good. Well there you go. Coyote baits all jarred up and ready to go. We got ours that have the persimmon and skunk smell and the smoky flavor. Then we got our just plain old basic tainted meat and skunk essence. Didn't really need the glycerin today. It wasn't very dry or anything this year. So we're gonna get these in the freezer ready to go. Nothing left to do. A little bit of trap work left for the season. The meat that we have left over, we're going to go ahead and jar up and freeze. And if we end up tearing through this, we can make some more in a pinch later. Or if we find that they're really going after different smells and things like that, we can go ahead and add those to that mix and uh, get that jarred up and use it here later in the season. Everything's dandy with Trapper Dan.